What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO. <laughs> Gaming, we are here about to launch this tier 3 rune, baby. Week 3, Court of Oryx. The witch's name is Bower, I believe. I probably butchered that. I'm going to give you guys a bunch of tips for this. And keep in mind, you will get your 47th calcified fragment from this here Court of Oryx. Um, from Bower, pretty much. But also keep in mind that you have to be the one that puts in the antiquated rune, which is the tier 3 rune. I believe that is true. If it's not, please correct me and I love all of you. Here we go. As you can see, the floor is lava, essentially. Uh, the default safe zone is right underneath the witch, um, Bower. And don't be a noob like me and die. But what you have to do is you have to kill um, the acolytes. Uh, there's ultra acolytes, knights, and cursor owls that spawn. When you kill the acolyte... Um, it pretty much creates this huge ring where I'm standing in the video of another safe zone and that's where you can go to the back of the ring um, without touching the lava and shoot at um, Bower pretty much. Uh, so all you gotta do is you gotta keep killing uh, the acolytes to get that middle ring to be a safe haven and then once you're in the middle you just shoot Bower. Uh, she's always gonna stay up near the portal. She's gonna be drifting left and right, left and right. But keep in mind, guys, as you can see in the video, it's freaking chaotic. All right, there's going to be enemies coming at you from all, like, ways. Uh, usually, I recommend a solid, solid team of three. Uh, but if you have friends or, you know, just people lurking at the Court of Oryx, hey, get them in, have fun, kill her fast. But, um, first, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I apologize. I've been calling it a her, but I think all witches are hers. I guess men could be witches too, but I don't know. Uh, I recommend the sniper. I'm using the raid sniper. It's a 310 raid sniper. It has arc damage. There's not really an elemental damage to the shields, but you do have to rip through their shield before you can actually take down their health. I do recommend the Night Stalker's uh, bow and also weapons of light. It'll make this a lot faster, guys. This In this video, we took a lot longer uh, than it could have been, or, or actually a lot longer than it should have been. should have been much, much, much faster. Um, which, hey, you know what? It was my first time doing it. I don't think it's too bad. Uh, but yeah, once you once you kill her, you're going to get your fragment. Keep in mind that reviving is very, very important, guys. As you can see in the video, we're continuously reviving. I've been in a, pretty much a lot of sticky situations, and I just come down here uh, to the safe haven where I can just um, damage from afar. Also, keep in mind the timer, uh, you guys, you guys, I mean, there's plenty of time. There's plenty of time. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get this tier 3 done. Um, but I know there are some people whose light levels may not be that high um, and, you know, other things. Uh, but just make sure that you guys are just putting teamwork in. And also keep in mind, if you're tier 3, let's say you fail, you can't kill her, right? Which we're about to kill her right now. But let's say you can't kill her. Your tier 3 rune doesn't go away. You can actually just go back and put it in again and give it another shot. So that's pretty cool that Bungie did that. Look at all those beautiful drops. I got my calcified fragment. Uh, the legendary drop, um, it wasn't that great. So anyways, hey guys, if you guys could please leave a big thumbs up. Let's see if we can get 200 likes. It'll help other people see this. It'll make it easy for other people and it'll help the channel grow. Thank you guys for being such an amazing part of the TKO family and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.